Hello and welcome to Stampscaping 101. This video is just um, a video on really the very basics of the uh, kind of the heart of rubber stamping, which is making impressions, okay? Now, I kind of go into um, the amount of pressure needed to um, make your impressions, because especially in my videos where I have a lot of large images, okay? And they're not only large images in terms of the um, uh, the length and width of them, but Stampscape stamps, there's often a lot of tight detail in them, and there's a lot of surface area, okay? Now, this is a tree right here called um, Shagbark Hickory, and let's say this stamp right here, you can see how much surface area there is to it. Now, if this was just an outline of this tree, there would be less surface area, okay? Now, when you're making an impression, the amount of pressure needed isn't just due to the size of the stamp, but it's that amount of surface area because when you press down on here, the amount of force is being distributed amongst the amount of surface area of uh, your design, okay? So oftentimes with our stamps, if it's large, there's usually a lot of surface area. So I'm often standing up on here and I'm pressing down on it, you know, and I'm giving a good amount of pressure to the entire surface area, okay? Now, down here around the trunk, there's not a lot of surface area, so I might just be able to press it down with my thumb or something like that, but in this area right here in the, you know, the large area of the tree, again, there's a lot of that surface area. Here's a really extreme version of a stamp. This is called the Seaside Cove, and it's the large version, but quite a lot of surface area to it. Okay, now this one right here, I rarely ever stamp out like an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, but if I were, I would stand up and I'd press down here, middle, right side. Okay, so I'd get a lot of surface pressure and I'd also go top and bottom. Okay, but here's the big thing. The thing that you really have to kind of watch out for is that when you get down to smaller imagery, um, you have to be careful about the amount of pressure that you're using on the stamps, okay? There's less surface area to a small design, okay? But it's not only the uh, size of the image, but it's the amount of isolated shapes on there, okay? So if there's a high cluster concentration of shape down here, you don't have to worry about it too much. But let's go into kind of some troubleshooting areas, okay? All right, now here's the reed stamp. This one's not a real small design. There's not a lot of isolated imagery here, but the tops of the blades of grass are something, you know, that could be pro pro uh, prove to be a trouble area, potentially, though. Now, when I stamp these images, I give it a good amount of surface pressure, okay? But I'm not squeezing and rocking the image, okay? Oftentimes my finger is right in the middle here, okay? And then when I lift off, it gives me a good crisp image on the end, right? Like so, okay? You can see the tops of them, all right? But now let's watch this done again. I'll do a side-by-side -side one, okay? I'm making my pressure, but let's say I squeeze too much, you know? And I'm kind of rocking it ever so slightly on the top, okay? Like that, okay? Now you can see the difference between these two right here. This one's almost looking like cattails now because the top portion is getting squeezed more, okay? When you ink up a stamp like that, inevitably you're going to be getting ink not only on the top surface of that stamp, but also on the side, right? Because it's getting pressed slightly into that um, uh, pad there. So I, you know, I generally try not to get too much ink on that side, you know, so I gently tap, you know, my stamp into it, and then I give it a good amount of pressure, okay? I'm not doing, doing it lightly, but there you go right there, and it's nice and crisp, all right? Now here's, now like I said, this one's a little bit of a larger design, but here's the problem ones, okay? Now, they're easy to, you know, work around, but let's see this fisherman right here, okay? It's a small stamp to begin with, but look at this fishing pole right here, okay? So let's stamp this out, okay? I'm giving a good amount of surface pressure to stamp it out. 
and we have a nice crisp impression. Okay, it looks just like the, uh, the indexing right here. Okay, but now let's see what would happen if I pressed too much in that isolated area of the fishing pole, too much pressure up there, okay? And there we have it. It's, <laughs> you know, it's not so much like a fishing pole anymore. I guess it is. Maybe it's a deep sea one that you would go out and, you know, fish for, you know, marlin with or something like, I don't know, shark, great white sharks or something like that, okay? Let's do an even harder one. Let's say we've been pressing down really hard with these large stamps and then we get down to our small stamp at the end and I'm pressing hard, okay? I mean, that's the worst case scenario right there, okay? And it's not adjusting the surface pressure. So again, see more of the image is down here and it's lighter up top here. So I, I use my finger in that area and I'm pressing more down at the base because hardly any pressure needs on that top surface. And you get a nice, beautiful, crisp impression right there. Look at that fishing pole, okay? So see my finger was mostly down here, not up in that area, okay? All right. So let's take another look at this one right here. Now this one right here, we have these feet that are together. I really haven't seen smearing happening with this one. Okay, this is the uh, uh, horse stamp. Okay, but let's just, for the sake of, you know, this video, let's try to press too hard into it, okay? I don't know. Looks more like a Clydesdale now or something. It looks like a donkey. I don't know. Maybe you press hard, you get a donkey or something like that, okay? All right, let's check out another one. Now this one right here is the Ducks Information Stamp. All right, now this one was like one of the biggest problem ones in terms of pressure. You know, and it's not, you know, people have been stamping this before, but it, it was like in a workshop situation where they've never used this stamp before, okay? And they might be stamping it over a scene that has a lot of color on it too, that might be a little bit wet, so. You know, here it is with good light pressure, okay? Barely any pressure at all. I just kind of lightly, you know, stamp it surface to paper, but stamp too hard, okay? With the same amount of pressure that they stamped out a large stamp with, and you get that blobbing kind of action right there. Now, this is just using um, Marvy ink. Let's try the Versifying, which I find is really super juicy at times, okay? All right, that's like 10 times too much pressure, okay? But let's go with the Versafine, just with uh, what, you know, should be regular pressure, okay? And you're gonna be fine there. Very little surface area to this stamp. Okay, let's take a look at this stamp right here. It's the crane, okay? Now let's look for some potential areas here that could be a problem. Pretty solid down here. These images are, you know, close together in terms of the legs, but look at that beak right there, okay? So let's stamp that out. Okay, I'm stamping this on matte paper, so it didn't stamp very dark. But let's look at in terms of crispness, okay? Uh, this side is glossy, this side is um, matte, okay? Let me hold it down a little bit longer. So you Get a nice dark impression. There we go. Okay. Now, see, I have my hand mostly in the body portion, but let's take a look at that beak area, okay? With too much pressure in that small area. Let me go to the left of this, okay? Suddenly, instead of a, you know, nice crisp beak, we have more like a, <laughs> it's like a duck bill or something like that, right? Let's go even crazier and put a lot more pressure on it. Over the whole thing, I'm pressing, I'm rocking a little bit, okay? And we have something like that, all right? So sometimes right there, it looks like a, I don't know, if people pressed in way too hard with something like that, we get a duckbill, you know, platypus, you know, beak or something like that on there. So anyways, adjust your pressure according to the uh, surface area 
of the stamp, okay? And it's not just the overall stamp, but it's certain areas of the stamp, okay? Here's the reeds. The smaller version, so stands to reason that the, sorry, top portion of this could be a little bit more delicate. It's not precarious or anything like that. I just don't put pressure up in those areas, okay? I just give it good pressure. All right? And you get a nice crisp impression. It's just when you use, it's just kind of the extremities, you know, people that might use the extreme amounts of it, which is not good. And you get something like that right there, okay? Now, I, you know, purposely squeeze that in there, but it's just to show you what could potentially happen there, all right? So it has to do with a lot of muscle memory, and if you're saving kind of your little objects as kind of filler objects, and that's what I usually do. You know, we're coming off of larger stamps, you know, in the beginning, and then we stamp the middle size ones after, often as filler stamps around it or something like that. When you get down to you know, your one inch stamps by whatever. Those types of stamps are the ones where you just have to use less pressure, okay? So it's actually easier, you know? You have to use a little bit heavier pressure in the beginning for larger images and, you know, foundational landscape stamps. And then when you get into the smaller ones, just, you know, stamp it with a nice, you know, firm, but um, just surface pressure oriented um, pressure, okay? So anyways, watch out for that. Take it easy on those little tiny designs there in terms of where you're um, depressing them. Don't rock them at all, you know. You just take them down if you have kind of uh, jittery hands or you're worried about it. Just place it where you want it to go. Take your other finger and just press down on it. Not hard or anything like that. And then just let it, let it go or something, okay? All right. So anyways, hope that comes in handy as kind of a, you know, beginner little tutorial on that aspect of small image impressions.